welcome back to and just guides in today's video we are going to show you how to open sharepoint files in desktop app by default let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft sharepoint just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go now by opening sharepoint files in their respective desktop applications by default offers several advantages for users and organizations why because number one desktop applications like microsoft word powerpoint microsoft excel provides more advanced features and functionalities compared to their web counterparts for example if you're working with the excel desktop it'll offer extensive data manipulation capabilities while word desktop allows for complex formatting and document management now users in particular are generally more familiar and comfortable with desktop applications opening files in the desktop app by default reduces the learning curve and improves productivity as users can leverage features they are accustomed to now how do we do with that basically if you're here already on your sharepoint account i need you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see the cogwheel icon or the gear icon which says settings all right now let me just escape uh, on this part because we need to go to this specifically on the uh, site that we are currently uh, working to okay so now that i'm here on the site basically again just click on the uh, gear icon settings and you would find the uh, library settings I need you to click on it just it's under site content make sure you have this and if you can't see the library settings you might want to check on the microsoft 365 account and contact the customer service it's probably two things um it's uh, the site is buggy or there's a technical glitch or something's uh gonna be a it's a problem you might want to contact them for troubleshooting steps but if you can if you can't see the library settings i need you to click on it for now we're going to uh let's say right uh, let me uh, put something here all right now basically once you're done that um you can click on save for now let's uh, let's see on that and i'm gonna go back again to the andy guide library and switch on the uh library settings and go to the more library settings what will happen is if we forward it here and the next option that you have to do is go down and click on advanced settings now when you do that you make sure you uh, click on the all the proper uh, settings now you have the content types wherein you can specify whether to allow the management and content types on each document library all right because each content type will appear on the new button and can have a unique set of columns workflows and other behaviors all right if you do if you do that you will allow management content times just click on yes but if you do you see uh there's gonna be this one's gonna be missing all right now just allow for management content times if you don't just click on no now on the document template just type of the address of a template to use as the basis for all new files created in this document library now that means when multiple content types are enabled this setting is managed on a per content type and again if you allow the management of content type it would not appear if it, if you don't it would appear on this you can also edit the template if you wanted click on the template url and you would be forwarded to that now it will give you uh, something like a warning notif like if you have content types you would like to apply you can now enable it directly from your document library to enable content types, go to the Andy Guide library, select Add Column, and then select Content Type and apply the relevant content types. We're going to do with that later. But for now, I need you to make sure that we are um, putting in the right uh, settings. That's why we're going to make sure that, that whenever we open any SharePoint files in desktop app, it will be on the default. All right. You see, this is going to be the magic, magic section where it says you can... Uh, when you have uh, three options here default open behavior for browser enabled documents right when opening documents in the browser you can specify in this uh, three options whether browser enabled documents should be opened in the client by a browser by default 
when a user clicks on them if the client application is unavailable the document will always be open in the browser now what we're going to choose to make sure that all the sharepoint files will be opened by desktop app in, by default is click on the open in the client application do not use the open in the browser or use the server default because the server default will open again in browser so you need to open the client application which is going to be your desktop apps all right now in terms of the custom sent to destination you can type in the name and url for a custom sent to destination that you want to appear as an option for this list it is recommended that you choose a short name for uh, the destination we have a separate video on how to do this but for now let's keep that in terms of the folder you can specify whether the new folder command is available changing the setting does not affect uh, uh, affect the existing folders and if you do so you can click all always the yes to make new folder command available or not but for now i'm gonna choose no in terms of the search here you can specify whether this document library should be visible in search results users who do not have permission to see these items will not see them in search results all right so after that clicking on the right um settings make sure you hover down below where you can see the uh okay option all right click on okay after that what will happen is just wait for it and it'll load and you need to go to the library name here on the left side corner all right now i need you to click on this one and make sure that we have uh, set the settings properly now whenever you have files here in the documents or in your library here for example this one how to open sharepoint files by default let me just click on it you see it would be forwarded to this one and by defaulting to open sharepoint uh files in desktop applications now organizations obviously can leverage these benefits to improve productivity it can enhance user experience and ensure effective utilization of their sharepoint and office 365 investments because some features and file formats may not be fully supported in the web apps opening files in the desktop app ensures compatibility and preserves formatting fidelity now many users like me simply prefer not working in desktop applications due to their uh, familiarity speed and feature richness opening sharepoint files in desktop apps by default respects a user preference and enhances overall user uh, satisfaction remember that some desktop applications support advanced customizations and automation through macros adsense and scripting this enables to streamline repetitive tasks and create personalized workflows that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video